It's Wednesday morning and I have a handful of eBay orders to ship out, but before I do, I want to talk about the crisis that is going on in this country right now. I'm not talking about the pandemic, I'm talking about the peaceful protesters that are protesting against the murder of George Floyd. And I want to use my platform to do something about it. A lot of protesters have been arrested for peaceful protesting and they need legal help. So we're gonna do a fundraiser. I've got a merchandise store with t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, hats, all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm gonna put a link down to that below. If you guys wanna check it out and support it, 100% of the proceeds will go to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. I'll also put a link to their website below in case you wanna to donate to them, but you don't really wanna buy any merchandise, that's fine. We're gonna do this for a full week. Next week, I will let you guys know how much money is raised and we will donate all that money to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. All right, let's get to work. First thing we're shipping out are some pogs. I bought these last weekend at a garage sale. I'm selling them in pairs of two. And I've got less than 50 cents into them. They sold for $11.99 free shipping. Next is over here an A4. This is an action figure, Evil Ernie. I got this part of a bulk buy a few months ago. Don't have much into it. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. All right, next we're going back here to F2. This is a JVC camcorder. This is part of the stuff that Jeff sent out to me. So Jeff, thank you again, man. Uh, this sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, next is in C1. This is a PV power supply. Uh, I think it's for some kind of like mixer. Yeah, for use with audio equipment replacement. I've done pretty well with like name brand power cords that are for, you know, some kind of piece that has some value. You know what I mean? So like this PV amp or whatever it is, the mixer is probably worth $100, $200. So somebody's going to pay up a little bit for the original power adapter. So this sold for $17.99 plus shipping. All right, next is down here in B6. This is a Super Tecmo Bowl instruction booklet um a video game for the super nintendo this sold for 9.99 for shipping and then it's going out to a viewer who goes by jj sports cards on youtube they say love your videos i'm in the profit from the bulk orders from your website i'd love to hear that hope you make some more profits and let me know how you do with that stuff all right moving right along we're coming down to d5 and i sold this piece right here jvc viewfinder this is part of that big uh Photography buy I made like six months ago. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, next is an A2. This is a pair of Scottish Terrier cast iron bookends. I got these three or four months ago with like some antiques and toys and other things that I bought. These are not antique and I will show you guys a quick way to tell um, any kind of reproduction cast iron things, whether it's a coin bank or whatever. Um, this Phillips head screwdriver was the dead giveaway. The really old cast iron, all of it has flathead screwdrivers. Now some of the reproductions will still use flathead screws just to try to throw you off. But once you look at so much cast iron over time, you can kind of tell what's old and what's reproduction. Uh, but these still have a market. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is in B4. This is an old Kroger advertisement. This is a local grocer. And the back of it is top value stamps which i thought was pretty cool this sold for 11.99 free shipping all right last thing we're pulling is a belt buckle i've only got a dollar or two into this it sold for 14.99 plus shipping got a couple questions i want to answer first is from josh keithley he asks could you do a price breakdown of how much you actually profit in your pocket for a sale say an item sells for 20 dollars plus $5 shipping, how much would you make after fees, shipping supplies, etc.? Not including what you already paid for the item. Say that would be $5. Okay, so it isn't a super easy answer because everybody's uh, shipping costs and everything's different. But in general, eBay fees are at around 10%. Uh, I think PayPal is like 3% and they also hit you with the fee on the shipping. So of that $25 sale, you're looking around $3, I guess, maybe a little bit over $3 in fees. So after your fees, probably $21 and some change, and then you got $5 into it, you'd be left with like $16 profit. Yeah, I mean, I think a $5 item selling for $20 is a pretty good flip. $5 item selling for $10, not so much. It's really different for everybody of like how much you want to invest in an item versus what you're gonna get back. Personally, I wouldn't buy a $5 item to sell it for $10 on eBay, but I might buy a $50 item to sell for 100. I mean, you know, 
it'd be close. I would definitely buy a $500 item to sell for a thousand. That's a no brainer. Uh, so it varies. The more you do this, the more you get a feel for the risks involved because you will get returns. You will have things that, you know, just go sideways. And when you buy stuff at garage sales, it's going to end up not working. So you kind of got to weigh all that into when you're buying something, how much you want to put into it. But yeah, that's kind of a simple breakdown of like fees and, uh, kind of what you would profit on that hypothetical item. Next is from Joe McLean. He says, on the backpack, how did you think to pick that up at the sale? Did you look it up or sold one in the past? Great pick, I would have passed on that one and missed out. So Joe was talking about those photography backpacks that I bought and I did not know what that brand was. It was Peak Design and I was looking at some of the bags I had for sale and those just felt really high quality. So I'm like, well, I better look these up and you could kind of see it's a Peak Design on the thing. So I just typed in Peak Design on eBay went to Sold's and saw they were selling for really good money. So I just went ahead and picked all this up. So I feel like just like a good sense of curiosity sometimes can really help you out and obviously a smartphone. I just went to the post office to drop off all my packages today and I got something in the mail. It's from Scott at Trash to Cash. So let's open this thing up. It is a big long box. You packed this thing well, Scott. All kinds of protective stuff in here. Cincinnati Picker, you were one of the original resellers along with your buddy Lonnie at Shed Flips. I first searched and found on YouTube. Your content is one of the best and you will surpass way more than the 100,000 subscribers. I hope you like the banner I made. I tried my best on the image quality. You're a big inspiration. Keep up the great content. And P.S. Did I spell Cincinnati right? Yeah, you spelled it right. C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I. I said it too fast. C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I. Thanks, Scott at Trash to Cash YouTube channel. All right, let's check this out. Oh, no way. All right, I'm gonna put some things down to flatten this thing out. This is cool, Scott. Cincinnati Picker Banner. This is awesome, man, thank you. Scott, I really appreciate that. And guys, if you wanna see Scott's channel, I will put a link down in the description below. All right, before I end this video, I wanna let you guys know I've started getting back to using the momentum board to track my eBay listings. I did not come up with this idea. Uh, the Crazy Picker Life channel started this and then a number of people started doing it. So don't give me credit, but I really like doing it and I've been doing it for a while. I took a couple months off since I was staying at home with the kids with all the pandemic going on, but now I'm kind of getting back to the warehouse a lot more and working a lot more. So I'm trying to track my sales. All right, so right now I've got my listings uh, for Monday and Tuesday. I haven't tracked today's yet because I'm still gonna be listing some more. Uh, yesterday I did 25 listings for 704. Tuesday I did 10 listings for 380. As of Monday, my current listings was down to 358. So I'm gonna work on getting that back up there and I'll start keeping track of my uh, monthly sales and uh, my weekly and monthly listings down here too. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.